everyone, this is Tony from Blue Butterfly Creations and today I have a fall theme two page 12 by 12 layout and what I'm using is some paper that I've had in my collection for a while. I actually bought this paper pack from Walmart back in 2004, 2005. I haven't really done much with it but then I started working with Coordination's chocolate box paper and I felt it would be a nice combination. So what I have is two sheets of this leaf print that I've cut to 11 and a half by 11 and a half. I have these strips of pattern paper and this is 2 by 12 inches. I have two of those. I also have a piece of that coordination chocolate box uh, French vanilla cut at 2 and a quarter by 12. I have this pumpkin printed paper cut at three and a quarter by three and a quarter and I have four of those. I have some of that chocolate box French vanilla cut at three and a half by three and a half. I have four of those. I have this brown polka dot paper and this is cut to four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Two of those. I also have this green plaid which is cut at four and a quarter by four and a quarter. I have six pieces of that, sorry, four pieces of the chocolate box French vanilla cut to four and a half by six and a half. I also have two pieces of that chocolate box French vanilla, 12 by 12. And what I did with these is I've sanded around the edge. So to get started, I am going to take some sandpaper and sand around the edges of my other pieces of the chocolate box. So what I'm going to do next is take a piece of scrap paper, my distressing tool, and Tim Holtz walnut stain, and I'm going to ink around the edges of all the pattern papers. So now that I've distressed the edges of all of those, I'm going to move these pieces out of my way here. I'm going to bring over my two 12 by 12 pieces. And I'm going to start adhering some of the things together. So I'm going to start arranging my layout. 
So I have my two pieces here. I have my two guide bars here on either side. I have my four pumpkin pieces. That I can arrange. Have my picture pieces. And I think I'm going to rotate one and overlap it. So I think I'm going to go like that and then make this one sit here. Got my pumpkins. I'm going to do the same thing here, but just put this one towards the bottom, put this one up up here, the pumpkins in the corners, and then I'm going to start tacking this down as well. So there are my two pages so far. Bring this down so you can see it. Now I have some stickers. This is from the, some of these are from 2010, some are last year from Die Cuts With You, some are from Michaels. And I'm going to dress this up. So here I have a Scarecrow and a Hayride sticker. This will be perfect for the Hayrides and apple picking. They're so common this time of year with back to school. And I'm going to sit my little Scarecrow down here. I'm going to put a little pumpkin in my pumpkin patch here. Got some of these leaves that I can use to dress up corners. I'm going to put one right here. Another one here. I got the hayride. The hayride I'm going to put in this pumpkin patch. I'm going to put down center. So that way there's a little room for a little bit of journaling. Then here I have the title, Autumn. I'm going to put that on this side here, this page, so it overlaps the top of my pumpkin patch. Then I have This here, which says cutest pumpkin in the patch. I think actually I'm going to use this piece of paisley. And I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to put this bloom over here. That looks good to me. So there is a very quick, simple. 12 by 12 layout using some distress techniques both with the coordination paper and Tim Holtz distress ink. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Blue Butterfly Creations.blogspot.com.